everybody. Everybody, it's David Down Under. David, David Down Under. David Over Under. David Over Under here from Orlando, Florida. How you doing? Uh, the bottom of YouTube. Oh, they're all cheats, rotten. They're, they're terrible. Everybody down here at bottom of YouTube. They're all awful. Uh, except, except the people that like my channel. They're cool. Davy over under. Ah, ah. Hey, good morning. Guess where I am? That's right. I'm. I, you can't really see the. Uh, you can't really see the pool from here. Can you? There you go. There's the pool. There's the. Uh, yeah, I should have done it outside by the pool there. I don't know. Probably get better Wi-Fi inside though. It's hot out there. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Saturday for the, what's today? Today's the 18th. Today's the big day. We're having the uh, meetup later today at, uh, at Disney Springs. So if you're in the Orlando area, please do come by. We would love to see you. Hey, Shimei. Hey, B in Athens is up early this morning. Good morning, Jersey girl in the house. Bruce Springsteen's uh, just released, uh, just dropped. I guess that's a, what they say in the uh, the business. Just dropped a new uh, a new uh, video from his new album coming out soon. So it sounds really cool. So uh, if you're watching Bruce, <laughs> uh, so how's everybody doing this morning? Sarah, nice to see you here. Oh, I I brought the glasses too because yeah, it's easier to read this. <laughs> Maximalist minibus, Jay, nice to see you. Shamay, as always, the urban stealth camper man, camper van man. The head bouncer is here in the house, uh, Craig Charlton. So we got two of our moderators here today. Um, I'm going to make a few, a person or two, a guest. Let me see. I should, let me get this. I need to have the other computer here set up. Let's see, uh, which I should have done before. We're still still two minutes to the official start of the show. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. His name is... Oh, no, I got to get rid of that. Oh, no, we're getting feedback. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> let's see here. I am going to... Let's see. I'm going to. Da, 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 da. All right, Shimei, you are now a moderator. I've got a couple other people I may make moderators. I, you know, if I see them on the chat, I will make them a moderator, but I do not see them yet. So uh, say something, Shimei. Let's see if you come up blue. There you are. <laughs> That's right, the blue wrench. Oh, hey. Hello, Ly Lystrek. How are you doing? James Rockford? Yeah, yeah. I make the vlogger puppets every day now. I don't know. I guess I'm the, the biggest story at the bottom of YouTube. And uh, the, as, I, as they say, the more they're talking about you, it's all good. Yeah, I, I covered the media business for many years. And it's people would come to me and go, well, they're, you know, they're saying nasty things about me, but it's better to say nasty things than not to say anything at all because they're paying attention to you. That is absolutely right. Chicken Scratch Travels. Mike and Missy Girl Got Hitched. That's the name of your channel. <laughs> Mike and Missy Girl Got Hitched. Morning, everyone. <laughs> Mike, you mean that Mike? Mikey? Mikey and Missy Girl? I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I agree, B. Uh, you know, it, it wasn't the funniest thing he's ever done, that video of me this morning. It was, you know, it's just kind of like, like I'm not a great puppeteer. You know, it's something like, you know, fault, faulting me because I'm not a great puppeteer. Well, it's parody, you know. It's kind of like when I when I do crotchy, you know, you know, it's, yeah, I'm not like super, oh, crotchy needs just shirt washed. He's got stains on the back of his shirt. It's like, you know, you have to get off the screen. Well, everybody, it's Crawfee. Crawfee the puppet. Yes, I'm feeling better. My beard still is uh, 
detached a little bit and some of my brain has fallen into foam the foam below my brain has fallen into my nasal cavity but other than that i'm pretty good this morning and i want to want to tell everybody please come by the uh the uh, live stream the not the well we will be a uh, destination storm will be live streaming the uh, meetup today uh sometime around six o'clock uh, maybe later i don't know we're starting at six but uh, you know you know we'll see we'll see but anyway six o'clock disney springs Dockside Margaritas uh, here in Orlando at uh, yeah at Disney Springs. So everybody be there, and uh, yeah, we'll have lots of free stickers and cups of water if you want it. And uh, and uh, yeah, you'll see me. I'll be there. I will be there. You can you can hug me. All right. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to meet Crotchy, this is one of your only opportunities to meet Crotchy. So that'll be cool. Yeah, Missy, Missy Cat, and you're now unblocked, all right? <laughs> Sunny girl, eyes bandage. What? Oh, no, your eyes are bandaged, Sunny girl? Oh, I hope you're okay. Yeah, wow. Excuse spelling. Oh, there's Stitch. I see Stitch. Good morning, Stitch. Da, 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 da. Uh, who else is here this morning? This, Stitch is out on the West Coast, so he got up early. Stitch. <laughs> Let's see. Who else Who else should I make a wrench? Uh, anybody out there particularly want to be a wrench today? We're, gonna, we're still looking for the guest wrenches. We've got three people as guest wrenches right now. Uh, D Destination Storm is, uh, is she here? Oh, there she is. She's in the kitchen. That's right. I can see her over there. She's making some breakfast. Hi. Babe. <laughs> Hi. Oh, that's, yeah, communication. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that okay? That's okay. Okay. All right. He's a good moderator for me. He's good for you. All right. Shall do it. As long as he's not flying around in the space. All right, we got another wrench. We just made Stitch a wrench. <laughs> so we got Stitch and Shimei as wrenches this morning, along with our regular wrenches, Destination Storm, B in Athens, and of course, the top wrench, the head wrench, Craigie Poo. <laughs> that's it. We have, I'll, I'll pick one or two people as guest wrenches, and that's it. So, yeah, what the heck? My eyes would be patched if I had to look at Dave. That was not nice. Trey. <laughs> Stitch, you didn't need to do that. I can take that criticism. That's silly. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah, if it's just stupid criticism, that's funny. I, that, that stuff doesn't bother me. Just it's the nasty. It's the mean stuff. It's the mean. That, that's just silly. <laughs> anyway, I've got a, uh, I've got my a whole pile of, uh, look at this. I got a whole pile of Camo Dave stickers. Look at that, a whole pile of them. Some of them are pink. Thank you, Time Chaser. And I've got a whole bunch of the classic uh, green ones. So tonight at the uh, at the uh, meetup, I will be handing these out for absolutely free. There is no payment required, okay? I should say $10 a piece, right? I'll be selling these for 10 bucks a piece tonight at the meetup. Ah! No, they're free. Okay, they will be completely free tonight. So if you if you show up at the meetup 6 p.m. tonight over at Disney Springs, um, we will I will hand the uh, you'll get a sticker. Yeah, I should you know what I should do? I need to you see we can find a, a black sharpie so I can like sign things. I could sign you know I could I sign your shirt or huh? I have a black sharpie. Yeah, bring a black sharpie. Don't forget My that. Oh, yes, yeah. she's uh, Stormy still waiting on her stickers from Time Chaser. Hey, Time Chaser. Yeah, she wants she we were hoping to get her stickers by the time of the uh, meetup tonight. But hey, Time Chaser, if you want to show up tonight, please do. We'd love to see you. Uh, you know, six o'clock, uh, Dockside Margaritas, Disney Springs. Uh, please be there. Aloha. <laughs> Sunny Girl. So, what's what Sunny Girl's got some. Uh, Three retina surgeries. I hope this one worked. 
Wow. I had a friend who had that. I had a friend who had a uh, detached retina and they had to put a big bubble in his eye. They did something in the back of his eye and then they filled his eye with like gas and then had to stay that way. So it pressed the retina up against uh, or whatever that, you know, did that. Yeah. And it was kind of a very uncomfortable and weird and he couldn't see out of that eye for a while, but his vision returned pretty much totally. So he's in good shape. It's amazing what the doctors can do, sunny girl. So I think you'll be fine. Roland doors are balls. Could I get some stickers for my drone channel? <laughs> I think, I think, I think time chasers kind of getting to the end of, uh, doing the stickers. I don't know. He's been so nice to everybody, helping everybody out, helping a lot of new channels out. And he's done an amazing amount of work. I, I'm going to definitely tell Aaron that, uh, you know, when we do the bottom of YouTube awards for 2019, he deserves a, uh, what are those, what are they called? Lifetime achievement awards for all of his wonderful work. And again, or not anyway. Um, and uh, I think he's, he had a, an issue with a certain YouTuber who was kind of um, just, just say not happy with what was going on. Hey, Frank Costello. So I think um, time chaser may be back at least feeling down about it. Let's, let's get him pumped back up. Cause what he does is a great thing. That's right. Uh, Destination storm is right now cooking breakfast for Dave. Just me. I demanded it. I woke up. I said, I want breakfast. And she said, all right, all right. <laughs> well, at least we got the, the uh, stream house here stocked up. The fridge in the stream house has lots of food in it. And uh, so, yeah, so we're all, we're all ready. You know, just, you know, the other day we were like, we get up in the morning and like, there's nothing in the fridge. So we did go out and do a bunch of shopping yesterday. I'm not doing this every day. <laughs> yeah, she said that. She's going to make bre big breakfast every uh -huh. single day. Because oh. you're paying me for it. $25 a day. That's right. Send me money. Don't forget to uh, send me some PayPal. Or you can send me some PayPal at paypal.me slash DCRTV. Or uh, send me some super chat so I can uh, pay Destination Storm for a uh, payer back for all of the fine cooking she's doing over here. <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. Shimei. Uh, yeah, Shimei. Um, it is a little hectic right now. Uh, I, I'm not really in the position right now to be mailing out stickers to people. But maybe in the next week or so, just send me your address. I know I had it before, but I lost it, I'm sure. Send me your address at camodavidgmx.com. If you want a pink, pink sticker, a pig sticker, if you want a pink sticker, uh, send me your address to uh, camodavidgmx.com and mention pink sticker in the subject line. And uh, I will try to get some uh, mess, uh, try to get some, uh, some out this week, sometime during a, uh, a, 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 a quiet period. We've got a lot of stuff on the burner for the next, this weekend, we've got the meetup and then we've got a big birthday blowout for a destination storm next week. So a lot of stuff cooking. So, um, it's kind of a quasi, I'm trying to still do work. I do my website. I'm doing the, I'm trying to keep up the YouTube videos while I'm here at, and then, but it's also a vacation environment. So we're also trying to just kick back and enjoy it. Yes. Yes. My, yes. I do have my tea. Yes, absolutely. I've got my morning tea and this is, but Barb, Barb surprised me. She left a whole a bag full of cool um, PG tips uh, tea bags in the uh, in my suitcase, which I didn't know about until I got here. And I'm glad she did that because if I woke up those first days with no tea in the house, I would have probably been pretty crazy. So what are you having? Sausage biscuits, Roland, <laughs> and gravy. Ooh, destination storm. Cook me breakfast. Bring a black sharpie. Aaron, give TC an award. D Gen Dave the General com General Dave commands. That's right. I'm issuing my orders for the day. Bring the sharpie. I'm Napoleon. I'm Napoleon. The bottom of YouTube. That's right. Camo Napoleon. Napoleon Camo. Am I an actor? Gem Mint 1952 Mantle. Hmm. Are you an actor in Game of Thrones? You know what? Um, 
I do, I think, look like some of the people in Game of Thrones. I've only seen two or three episodes of it. I am not a fan of the show. I have tried watching it, and uh, it just doesn't float my boat. I don't know. Uh, the ladies I lived with back in Springfield, Susan and Sandy, they loved the show, and they'd watch it every Sunday, and they'd have people over, and we'd all have a party every, every Sunday night and watch it, and I just went, I don't get it. Oh, Thor is doing this to the so and so, and they killed him, and they chopped his head off, and they did this. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I my favorite shows, I guess, if you want to look at the long form type of uh, multi episode dramas like that, I would say uh, Sopranos. I love Breaking Bad, Mad Men. Those are my favorites. Um, and they remain my favorites. I, I don't know. I just haven't gotten into anything new. I don't really either watch much television anymore. I don't. I just don't find it terribly interesting, you know. Um, very, very little. I watch the news occasionally, and I do occasionally catch Jeopardy because Susan and Sandy got me addicted to that. And that guy, what's his name, James Hunthauser, he's winning millions and millions of dollars. And finally, they ended up the teacher's thing for two weeks, and so now we can get back to seeing him do that. I'm looking forward to that. But other than that, that's about all the television I watch. I do. I'm enjoying watching. I like to watch news, local newscasts um, down here. The uh, watch the Orlando market. Some interesting. Uh, I like just to see how they do local news in various markets. I enjoy watching going up in up in Athens. All the kooky uh, anchors on the Atlanta TV stations. <laughs> I think that's kind of funny. I do enjoy watching local news just to see how kooky it is. But they do. They have pretty good stations down here in Orlando. <laughs> yeah, it is a working vacation. Exactly right. In fact, my whole life is a working vacation, but today's a, it's a little more vacation than working. So I'm, I'm trying to just enjoy myself. And I'll tell you something. I, I'm really starting to get into the relaxation mode. Yesterday, I didn't do too much. I just kind of hung around the house and Stormy and I went to do some shopping and I just enjoyed it. It was just very nice. This place feels like, you know, it's got a pull back there and just relax. It's just, it's really nice to just chill. I, I was just enjoying it. You know, we don't have to go out and do 20 things every day. You know, it's just nice to relax. Hey, Dred Dave, one, two, nine, five, three. Hey, Dave. Trey Beantown, am I still timed out? LOL. No, apparently not. Michael Nippert, I've been on sick leave for two weeks. My left knee finally gave out. Oh, Michael. Yeah, Michael had some plans. He was planning to come to the DC area, I think this month, right? In May. We were gonna, we were actually gonna hang out for a little while. If my plans had been different, if I was still up in Northern Virginia, I might be hanging out with uh, Michael this week. He was gonna go, he wanted to go see the um, Air and Space Museum out at Dulles and maybe do some gambling down at the MGM Grand down there in, uh, over there in uh, National Harbor. MGM in, Mar what's it called? MGM National Harbor over there, over uh, just south of DC in the in, in the middle of the Potomac, yeah. So, you know, but it just didn't work out, and I think he's had some issues too. Frank, how are you doing, Frank? You are, yeah, he was having, Frank was in a lot of pain the other day when I chatted up on him, so I hope you're feeling better. Um, it's good to see you here. Oh, no. RV American Traveler, is that you, RV Davey? Yes. I'm, yeah. You better behave. I'll, I won't block you, but uh, oh, behave. <laughs> Stoner fart art. Hey, Mark Fun Jones is here. Doctor Who. <laughs> uh, who has time for TV with YouTube? I, it's very true. Um, uh, what did I do? I I I think I I signed up for one of those trial offers of one of those. I don't know what 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 are those TV? You get like all the TV channels on your on your over the over the. Um, of the internet. Uh, oh, I don't know. You, I didn't do YouTube TV. I did somebody else, but I never watched anything. So I just said, screw it. You know, why do I, if I'm not, why well, sign up even Netflix? Okay. Um, I do have a friend who lets me share his Netflix account and I'm very rarely watching anything on Netflix. The wandering sun, you catch that one Chinese blockbuster movie from last year that just mysteriously popped up on uh, Netflix. It's a sci-fi movie about the earth somehow getting sucked out of its orbit by the gravity of Jupiter and everything gets cold. And, you know, it's a goofy movie, but it is pretty interesting to watch it. It's dubbed in it's Chinese, but it is dubbed in in English and it's a fascinating movie to watch. I wouldn't say it's a great movie. The acting's pretty horrid. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, uh, I don't know. It's just, you know, 
tired and ti kind of tired in terms of plot lines, but the special effects are pretty impressive. If you just want to watch it for the special effects, I would recommend that. But that's yeah, I watched that's pretty much the only thing I've watched on Netflix in the last couple months. <laughs> the dumb joke. <laughs> Cut Stitch a break. It's early. Yeah, you know, Stitch is woken up. He's just like, whoa, that's a nasty comment. Do we? That's okay. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Oh, Natalie Merchant and 10,000 Maniacs. I love them. They're one of my favorites. Um, last night, uh, Stormy had, uh, she has this like personal channel on Pandora and it's just playing all of the music that we all love. I mean, just New Order, The Cure, Book of Love. Uh who? Erasure. Erasure, Pet Shop Boys. I heard a few of them on there. Yeah, some really nice stuff. I love that music from the uh, – he had lots of Depeche Mode. Love that music from the uh, from mid, mid to late 80s. Roland Doors of Buzz. Yeah, it's like the infinity wait, – wait, oops, popped away. Do, do, do. Hey, Billy Down Under. How are you? I hear you were on uh, – uh, Lion stream last night. Yeah. I didn't stay up to watch it. I was I was tired and I was sleeping. Do I seem kind of down today? No, I'm not down at all. I'm just, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm in kind of a relaxed mood today. I'm not as high, I'm not as hyper as I usually am. Yeah, you know, I'm usually like, no, I'm much more, I'm just much more relaxed today, but I'm doing good. Did I clean no, no one's cleaned the pool yet. <laughs> We're all kind of putting it off. I, one of these days, I don't know if we're going to get out to use the pool today because we got a lot of stuff going on with the uh, meetup tonight. But one of these days when we actually get out to using the pool, I think somebody's going to have to get. I'll do it. I don't mind as long as there's a big net thing to Ash do it. Says she wants to do it. Ash, Ash will do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I love I love '80s new wave uh, classic alternative. I think that's that's the kind of music that you know hit that sweet spot right after college. And, you know, and I, there was a ton of bands that I got really into in the 80s and early 90s that, uh, you know, really just that's kind of that sweet spot music. And everybody does that. And then when you you kind of forget about today's music when you get older and then you always go back to that old stuff. You know, some people love the Beach Boys. I love the Beatles. I mean, I, the Beatles were even, you know, when I was a little kid. But, um, yeah, there's you know, Stones I like a lot. Just, you know, there's certain songs you hear that just bring it back. You know, I, I still, there's um, Blinded by the Light, Man for Man's Earth Band, uh, Boston, More Than a Feeling. When I hear those songs, it just brings back college instantly. My college is right back. I'm thinking, I used to drive from Washington over to Harrisonburg, Virginia, where the uh, my, JM, my JMU was. And the beautiful drive, you go over the mountains and... You know, you could do Route 211 through Luray, or you could, it was just a beautiful drive. You went right through the Shenandoah National Park. And I remember doing that drive many times, and that was playing on the radio back then. And that just instantly brings that all back to me. It's kind of neat. Who will be, who will stream the meetup? The, the meetup tray will be uh, streamed by Destination Storm. So go over there and sub to her. And uh, she will be streaming it. Yeah, I'm. My phones are crappy phones. You know, I don't. They don't look good when I stream, and I don't have those endless uh, gig plans on mine. I, you know, I will stream very short little things on my phones. I'd much rather use the Wi-Fi connected laptops and stuff. So I'm not really into that. You know, out, out outdoor streaming stuff. And she's very good at it. So she will be streaming that. Plus, I want to be meeting with people. Okay, I don't want to be holding the camera up the whole time. So I want to be able to shake people's hands and hug the baby, kiss the babies and hug the people and hand out the stickers. And so I want to be, you know, I want to be doing that. I don't want to be standing there filming, you know, so, so it's all going to work out good. I think <laughs> what about carpet bagger, Brian, I don't know. There are a lot of YouTubers and we see that in a lot of cases where they have a certain amount of subs and they have a certain amount of views and they don't really jibe. Uh, we see that in a lot of people and I don't, you know, I don't understand it. There are ways to artificially inflate your sub counts 
And, uh, you know, I'm not saying anybody in particular is doing that, but we do see people and I see people like that. I get a certain amount of, you know, the interesting thing about when you look at YouTube analytics, you see a cat, what is called your daily view average. And that's the most important number that matters in terms of, you know, how well your channel's doing. And that's what matters. It doesn't matter so much the subs. And my daily view average is in the 6,000s now. Which you know, uh, you know, some YouTubers are ten thousand or twenty thousand or whatever. Some are three thousand. Some are a couple hundred. But that number is the most important number. The heck with the number of subs. And if you have a ton of subs and they aren't watching your videos, what's the point? Other than having, oh, telling people I have ten thousand subs. You know, well, if they're not watching your videos, and there are ways to get a lot of subs without buying them. You could have a viral video. It's a video that goes way and people go, oh, I like this guy. I'll sub to him. And then they don't watch your videos again because you know, they just like the topic of that one video. I don't know. I need money. Please send tater chip. <laughs> Have you had any RSVs for the meet RSVPs for the meetup? Uh, Loka, I think Loka said she's coming, right? Yes. We've had a number of people saying they might be there. Okay. Long Duck Dong said he might be there. I don't know. I haven't had anybody say, yes, I'll be there. But, you know, there are a lot of number of people who said they'll try to be there. We've had a number of people say, yeah, I'll try to be there. But, you know, I'm not, it just, you know, we did the, uh, we did the Vegas meetup and we had six, seven, eight people there and that was fine. I'm not, lo I'm not looking for a giant crowd, but, you know, it just, it'll be fun. We'll just have a good time. That's all I'm worried about. Oh my goodness. So look at this. Bacon. <laughs> Want to see me eat some bacon? Mmm. Mmm. Bacon on a Saturday morning. Ain't nothing better than that, right? BDU, remember you heard it here first. What did he hear first? Dave's rambling. Well, that's my show. What do I do? What am I supposed to do? I remember when this used to be the Camo Dave channel. What happened? I don't know. Life happens, I guess. You know, life has changed, man. You know, realize that. No matter what you do in life, things change. And you meet people and you hang out with other people and you do things. And, you know, people, I started my channel one way and everybody, or not everybody, but a small contingent of people just wants my channel to stay that way and never change. I don't know. I wanted to stay in the dungeon forever. Oh, they wanted me to stay in that Springfield, Virginia dungeon forever. I'm like, I don't know. I change as I get older. My channel changes. And, you know, I'm not sitting there cranking out videos to the point where I got to make money, money, money. I mean, I do make a nice little pot, pile of dough. It's, you know, not, not it's not paying the bills to totally, but it does allow me to do some traveling and stuff. And um, then the channel is different. I'm different now. In fact, I'm happy that I'm different now. I think I've changed a lot in the last two years for the better. You know, when I was, when I was, uh, when I started my channel, I was in a condo and I was, um, I couldn't pay the bills in the condo and I was not happy living there. And I felt like I was a slave to the bill wheel I had the mortgage and the condo fee and insurance and credit cards. And I did YouTube because I just liked the version of it. It's just a lot of fun from that miserable life I was living. And I got rid of my condo and I got on the road and I just started hanging out with some friends. And, you know, I never asked anybody, hey, can I live with you? Can I, can will you put me up? No, I mean, everybody offered. Everybody just said, Dave, if you want to come over for a couple months, you're more than welcome to it. And a number of people said yes, and I didn't take them up on that offer. And some people said yes, and I did. So, you know, that's the way it's worked. And when I do live with people, I try to help them out. You know, you know, some people need help with going to doctor's appointments or this and that. Some people, you know, Susan and Sandy needed help taking care of the pit bull you know, that kind of thing. So, you know, I, I try to do that. And as time has gone on, I've met more people and I get more offers. And someone says, hey, 
But B was very off. B at Barb there in Athens, Georgia said, hey, come on down for a little while. Stay for you know, open ended. It was like, you know, there's no end. There will be an end to it, I guess. I don't know. But it's open ended. You know, it's not like come down for a week. You want to come down for a while, a couple months, whatever. Please do. I did that and I totally enjoyed it. Destination Storm has said that. she's She wants to grow her channel. And I can help her out with some advice and we can, you know, she's teaching me some editing stuff and I'm teaching her how to deal with trolls and stuff. And we're just having a real good time. And she offered, you know, those two trips earlier in the year. And then this one, just come on down and chill out, relax and have a good time. And, that, and you know, I've, I've changed a lot in the last two or three years because I do not feel that I'm a slave to that bill wheel. I've gotten rid of the debts and all that crap. And I'm just, I'm just really seriously happier. And I'm rambling, yes. Crunchy sleeps with his eyes open. Dave Bacon. <laughs> we own you. Yeah, see now, Billy. Yeah, well, that's the problem. Because you can't own anybody. It's like, I think, you know, Adam the Woo thought that, you know. People expected a certain thing from him constantly, and he just kind of said, no, I'm going to do what I want to do. And you, to a certain point, you have to do that. You you can't let the YouTubers own you. You can't be owned by your audience. And, and, and musicians are the same way. Yeah, They'll do a hit album, and they do another hit album, and another hit album, and then they go, I'm tired of that. I want to do something else. And they try to change their musical style with something else. And a lot of their audience wants the same old stuff again and again and again. Some channels don't want to wait a minute. Some channels don't want to collab trolls. You delete, but they have hundreds of accounts. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, there are a lot of problems with YouTube. Crotchy owns me. <laughs> there are a lot of problems with YouTube and, you know, I need a napkin. You're right. Oh, there is a napkin. There is. <laughs> Not of everything. Dre Beantown, such a mom. Dave's, Dave's, Dave's channel has changed quite a bit in two years, but the shirt hasn't. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, but I did take some advice. A number of people said, Dave, your shirts are too tight. So look, I got a shirt now that, that's right, it's longer. It's it's, it's not so tight. <laughs> Every time you bend over, I, it's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I did splurge on a couple of uh, slightly larger sized T-shirts. Yeah, I mean, you got to do that. You know, I don't know. I don't want to be a slave to YouTube. I want to be, I want to be in control of my life. And 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 that's true with everybody. Everybody changes. And yeah, I realize that. And if you're appealing to a mass audience as mass as this one is, you know, 80, 8,800 subs, eighty nine hundred subs, you know, it's going to be like, uh, I don't know. I'm going to change. I'm my interests are going to change. There's a lot of YouTubers that I used to talk about that I don't talk about anymore because basically I'm just bored with them. Exactly, Time Chaser. You got to just live your dream. And that's the one thing I've been able to do. Finally, you know, my whole life has been either working for somebody else or, you know, it was that whole thing about the condo, which was a nice idea at first. Hey, this is a beautiful place. And I had a little money and I bought this condo. And of course, the 08 recession happened and I lost a lot of value in the condo, which kind of put me in a little bit of a quandary. And I'm thinking, okay, it's going to come back in value in a couple of years, you know, and that'll be that. But it didn't. It just didn't. And I got to the point where I'm just tired of being a slave to this condo. The whole everything I did during the month was just to, you know, pay the bills on the condo. And yes, I guess I could have gone out and got a jobby poo that I probably wouldn't have enjoyed as much as doing the YouTube stuff, but I wanted to do something I wanted to do. Yeah. I don't have kids. I don't have a wife to support. So, you know, I just said, I'll just go on the road for a while, you know? And it's one of the things that always fascinated me about YouTube is the people that live on the road, you know? Yeah. No more camo crack. <laughs> That's right. See, I change. <laughs> 
invites your van man is trying to change his channel. Really, Shimei, to like, well, he's got a girlfriend now too. So he's got some other interests in his life. And I think he's, and that's one of the things you see a lot of nomads doing is when they get relationship changes in their lives, how they change their channels, you know? Yeah, you get a, a, you know, a guy and he meets a girl and they want to live together. And how does that change your channel? Or do you just say, no, I'm not going to have another relationship because I'm, you know, how can you be a slave to YouTube that much that you're not going to grow as a human being just to keep your channel the same? You know, I, I do, we look at Living Free Mike, we look at Eric Nomadic Fanatic. These are two guys that, were, you know, had channels. They both had female interests in their lives and they both, for whatever reason, those went away and they're back to being solo guys on the road again. And it's almost like and you hear their audience sometimes having a great sigh of relief, like, oh, Mike, we like it so much better when Marlo's not around. You're back to being you again. And I'm sure Nomadic Fanatic got a lot of that, too. Hey, Eric, uh, we, you know, Angela took your channel in a different direction that we didn't like. And we're so glad it's just you and Jack's back on the road again. Um, you know, OK, fine. But I dare say that, you know, it, you know, I, I don't know. I do not, I, I don't know. You know, you can't judge other people's relationships. And that's one reason why I kind of cringe when people put their relationships up on YouTube. But, um, you know, I thought Mikey, I thought Marlo was good for Mikey. I don't know about Nomadic Fanatic and Angela. I thought they were probably too different. But I thought Marlo was probably a good influence on Mikey. Mikey, Mike's that kind of guy that I think needs to kind of sit down, look at his life, and uh, he figured things out. And I thought Marlo was a good thing for him, helping him do that. And uh, for whatever reason, it didn't work out. Um, I don't know. Eric, I think, is much more of a, a happy loner. I just think the guy just enjoys being by himself. You know, he just he just seems to be that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's Everybody has their um, <laughs> the songwriter. RV American Travel is a songwriter. Okay, okay. Let's hear some of your music. Why don't you sing some songs on your channel? <laughs> anyway, Mr. Square Art. Hello. Yes, Mr. Square Art's out there in California. He he occasionally sends me cards, and he does really weird, cool-looking, artsy videos. And sometimes he has me in them, and they're kind of neat. Check him out. It's a very interesting channel. Hey, me, Ma. How are you? Ziggy with it. Mimo has arrived and is smooching up the place. <laughs> okay, American Dream. You graduated from the Chaparral High class of 81. Well, good for you. The nice thing about LOL is it can mean laughing out loud or lots of love or loser on the loose. That's right. It can mean a lot of things. Mark, Mikey was the recipient of Marlo's goodness, but what did Marlo get out of it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't feel so bad when I saw Eric and Angela break up. I just, you know, again, they put their relationship in front of the camera and everybody's going to judge it. And the way I judged it, and I like both of the people, don't get me wrong. I like Angela M. I like her channel. I think she does a really nice job. I just didn't think like they made a good couple. And they broke up previously, you know, early 80, 80, um, Right after what was it, in eighteen? After the uh, RTR there, that Nevada thing, the texting thing, and I thought, okay, they're done with each other. That's good. They're going their own ways. But then it really did surprise me last fall when he was down here in Florida and announced that Angel M's coming back into his life. It just didn't make a lot of sense. Yes, I'm wearing glasses because it is much easier for me to read the. Oh no, I'm on top chat. Damn it, I keep forgetting. Let's put it on live chat. I you didn't remind me. You don't need me to remind you. You need to remind me. Oh, no. Well, I fixed it. Mr. 44 Fat Man. Who's he? Who did I miss here? <laughs> hey, Jay Edmund. Yeah, I did miss some people. Let me get caught up here. I can't, I got to remember to do live chat, okay? Because I keep forgetting. And yeah, the people. some people don't get mentioned. I wish it would just come up that way. Can you make it just come up that way? I don't know. Just click it. Well, no. I did click it. I got it. But the top chat. And I forget to change it. Right. That's the first thing I do when I turn my screen on. I should make a mental note. Stroke, stroke Steve RV life. Marlo was too cute for Mike. Okay. I'm seeing yeah, a few more people commenting. Mr. Gandalf. 
Brian Sample. Dave, you were in Lord of the Rings and the mine scenes. <laughs> Rod Sturgis. He said, I just arrived in Orlando. I'll see you tonight and meet up. Yeah. No, Rod, no, Rod, Rod Sturgis, is, that's a joke. I would like to meet Rod, though. I, I think he sounds like a real interesting guy. We do chat on the hotline every now and then. Do, do, do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, thank you very much, Mr. Square Art. Yeah, people say I kind of look kind of neat with these uh, glasses. I mean, I, you see, if I re try reading the chat without them, it's very small on this uh, Chromebook. Yeah, I have to squint. Do, 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 do. Dave looks like the guy on the KFC, but you think I look like Colonel Sanders? <laughs> Finger like a gun. The window in the background is too much. Yeah. No, I leave the blinds open. It's okay. I'm, a, I'm not, you know. I'm looking at me on two screens. I, yeah, well, it's just, you know, the pool's back there. There's the pool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, let me see. Let me try this. Oh, no, I'm going to hit the, I got to hit the alarm. Don't hit the alarm. <laughs> Is this unlocked? No. No. It's the big button. Button first. Button first. I know. I know. I know. You're going to break everybody's ears. I know. Got it? I'm going to see what uh, kind of Wi-Fi I get out here. Okay. So now we're out at the pool. <laughs> we're out at the pool, man. Ugh. Oh. Anyway, it's a beautiful morning here in uh, beautiful Orlando. Now, yeah, see now, I'm even more in the dark out here. The problem is if I try to show a beautiful scenery in the background, I get I get, I get, get winced out. Now, this way, yeah, I'm just back up against the wall. You can see me. But anyway, that is the beautiful scenery today. Look at the pool. There's a beautiful day. There's a lake back there. Uh, there's a really nice trail that goes to an even bigger lake on the other side of the complex here. It is absolutely gorgeous. The thing you got to do when you're in Orlando this time of the year is you got to get up early because that's when it's cool, okay? This, you look at the clouds. It, there's no clouds in the sky. The problem is by about noon, it's going to get blazingly hot. And so if you want to uh, do anything, you got to do it in the morning. Okay, then... Shut this because it'll go beep, boop, ba doop, beep, boop, ba doop. Oh, well, I think it's closed. It's closed enough, I think, I hope. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's nice out. It's really nice now. The problem is I can't get, it's so bright out there, it just kind of scuffs the picture. I think it's better in here. Anyway, got the big boots, got my big boots on this morning. I do have... Um, the shirt, I'm going to be wearing the shirt. I probably, should I wear this shirt today? I did bring one or two shirts along, so I probably will wear this one. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll probably wear that tonight at the meetup. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can have a really nice Disney shirt, too. I might wear that, too, or instead. The Disney one? Yeah, I like that. I really like that a lot. It's got classic Mickey. It's got classic Mickey. <laughs> Angela has the largest arched eyebrows in the world. She does. All right. Who else is here? Rod Sturgis. Yeah. Rod, I just arrived in Orlando. I'll see you at the meetup. Okay, Rod. I'll see you there. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Craig Charlton, are you smiling? Rod, the ex-mod. <laughs> Dave, how much weed could a nomad smoke? See, I get it. Pop the way just so I'm looking at it. 
do do. Stitch will be at the meetup. Oh, is Stitch coming? I did not know that. It would be nice to see Stitch. Gator in the pool. That's right. That gator lives in the pool there. <laughs> the sound is better out there. Yeah, it's less echoey. That's right. It's, it, it's This room here has, uh, there's no carpet on it. It's got a tile floor and and it's got, yeah, a big, you know, it's the, 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 the um, acoustics in this room are kind of echoey. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't know. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Should I go back? Let's have a vote. Let's have a vote. Should I go back out on the deck, back out on the back and finish it there? Or do you like it right here? <laughs> I don't care. If you want me to go back out there, that's fine. Stitch will be at the meetup. I know if he flew down there to take his wrench, right? Yeah, bring your wrench. The darker, the better you look. <laughs> Rod is buying the first round of drinks. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Rod. Rod's bringing down a big pile of cash, huh? <laughs> yeah, that was a cool shirt. That was made by Al in Tennessee. He made a whole bunch of shirts for me, and I really appreciate that. Does Dave play with Barbie or Ken? Uh, no. Wear the, oh, I should wear the service geezer shirt. Yes, that's up in my storage locker. Shadow face, Dave looks 10 years younger. <laughs> yes, it's very nice here, Time Chaser, having a wonderful time. I really hope you can make it over to the meetup tonight. Uh, I know you're in the general area here. It'd be really nice. So uh, please try. Or... You know, we are inviting you, Time Chaser, if you want to do a uh, private meetup with us, you know, and, you know, take you out to lunch or buy you dinner. I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, we'd like to do that, in fact, because of all the nice things you've done for me and Stormy. So please, um, you know, you know, you know the email. Just email me and uh, we'll get together on that, too. Do, do, do. Go skinny dipping. Okay, now I'm going to read fishing and picking here. Dave, how much would weed cost? How much weed could a nomad smoke if a nomad could smoke fanatic weed? Hmm, a Miranda RV got a secondhand high. <laughs> Ziggy witted, I thought about going, but it would take me $150 for fuel and then another $100 for a room so I could just not fit it into the budget, Ziggy. Oh, you know, hey, I, I totally get that. You know, Orlando is not close to everybody. You know, it is not really a centrally located place. But, you know, when you're dealing with the United States of America, really there's nowhere that's close to everybody, okay? Everybody, you know, <laughs> everybody's going to have to travel. Um, I'm going to try when I do my traveling to get around and we'll kind of do some meetups around the country. Um, I haven't gotten out West yet. I may later this year or next year, who knows, but uh, you know, my plans for the rest of the summer tend to be in the Southeast. Um, you know, I'm, pro I'm definitely going back to Barb's place in Athens after here. And then we're going to probably be heading up to Asheville in North Carolina. And then Stormy's coming to Nashville, Nashville and Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee later this summer. And then we're, we're going to get down to hopefully get down to Atlanta to do the, um, the dragon con. So that's basically it. Eastern Tennessee, central Tennessee, Western North Carolina, Georgia, down here to Orlando. So yeah. And we did the meetup in, in Vegas. So we did, we're going to have the meetup tonight in Orlando and, you know, we may do one up in Tennessee somewhere, but that's where it looks like we're doing right now. Hey, Frank, Pet Trulak from Canada. Nice to see folks from Canada. Water's on. Yeah, that's right. The water is on Dave. If you want a water, I'll get you one. Okay, don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, oh, Danny Lee Ingram. Hello from North Georgia. How are you doing? Get in your car right now, Danny Lee. Get in your car right now. What is it? 10 o'clock, 10, 15 Eastern time. You could probably be down in Orlando just in time for the meetup. Let's see. That's probably about seven or eight hours travel time from North Georgia. So that's just enough time. If you get in your car right now, head down. Um, what is it? 75. <laughs> head south on 75. 
through past Atlanta, just hit hit the pedal to the metal. You might just make Orlando by 6 p.m. tonight, okay? And then we can say hi. That's right. Smash the little thumbs up, everybody. That's right. 29. If you want to send some uh, send some cocktail money for the chat for the uh, meetup tonight, send it to uh, that's right. The little dollar sign down there. <laughs> I'm joking. It's it, yeah. Send me money. Send me money. Eight ball. My niece is an actress in Hollywood doing eight or nine movies on TV. Told her about you. And now she says she watches you when she has time. She thinks you're funny. Well, thank you, eight ball. I appreciate that. I love the shout outs. You know, a lot of the growth that I get here on the channel is from people that, uh, you know, um, you know, talk about me to other people, you know, and all those parody channels, they mention me and I just get more and more views. I don't know. Who pissed off Meemaw? What? Meemaw's mad? What happened to Meemaw? Look. Oh, look, Meemaw's kind of um, something, something got Meemaw mad. He, Meemaw's all angry. Mm, mm, mm. What's wrong, Meemaw? Don't get mad. Oh, now Meemaw's back to thumbs up again. You know, I think Meemaw's probably my uh, doxinator. What do you think? I'm trying to guess who Meemaw is. I, I thought Meemaw was Stingray. You remember Stingray? Now, maybe I'm thinking, no, my Meemaw's my doxinator. Parker. Meemaw's Parker. <laughs> oh, as you hear, you know who that I'm not supposed to talk about anymore. Just sold her, her old trailer. So good for her. I watched the new Nomadic Fanatic the other day. I don't know. He's in Washington State now. He did a video on pot and all that, which was okay. And now we, you know, again, what do I say? I like Nomadic Fanatic. I do. I think it's interesting that he has the class A, but, you know, he's back to Washington State again. He loves Washington State, and it's going to be summer in Washington State, and he's probably going to spend a good chunk of time now in Washington State, which is fine. It's a pretty state. But guess what? We have seen him there many, many, many Many times before, so uh, you know, and we and we got uh, Destination Open Road going to Washington State, and now we've got uh, um, Asia probably going to Washington State, and so it's like everybody hung out in Arizona where it was hot in the the winter, and now everyone's going up to Washington State where it's nice and warm in the summer. So I don't know, man. It's just you see these YouTubers doing the same things again and 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 again, and it does get a little bit. If you're trying to produce interesting content, a little boring, I don't know. You know, again, I cannot imagine what Eric is going to show us in Washington State that he hasn't already shown us um, numerous times before. The, you know, the same campgrounds, the same whatever. And, and yet, you know, he probably figures, hey, I got a lot of new subs since I've been in Washington State before. So I'm going to do, you know, they, that's new to them. And I'm, that's like Adam the Woo, the same thing with Mr. Woo. He gets to L.A. and he shows us the same things over and over and over and over again. And he probably figures, well, I got a you know couple 50, 60, 70 new subs that uh, didn't see all that old stuff. So I'm just going to do it all again. You know, I don't know. I guess to a point where people, you know, and that's that whole question about me. Like, you know, you know, uh, your channel has changed. Well, yeah, you know, I think that's good to change, you know. And But I do, do see, I just see these nomads uh, doing the same stuff again and again and again. And that's true. You know, it's it's fine if that's what they want to make them happy, but it just doesn't do well for good content. Mima always has juicy gossip. Really? It's Saturday, right? Just Ali, it's a super Saturday because later today, 6 p.m., we're having our big meetup. <laughs> I'm going to hear the vlogger puppets is going to be there in his pork pie hat. <laughs> uh. Blue Watch, Mima. I visited Tennessee. I went to Dollywood and Pigeon Forge. It's a dry town. I had to get my booze in Gatlinburg. Well, that's good to know, Shemay. <laughs> uh, I do find it interesting here in Florida. You know, I've never bought uh, hard liquor at a Walmart before. You know, I, I, you know, up in Virginia, you can buy beer and wine in a Walmart and a grocery store. But hard liquor, you have to go to the state stores for. And even in Georgia, I think they sell beer and wine in most grocery stores. But you have to go to a, a 
liquor store, an official liquor store to get your booze. You can't buy, you know, like vodka and whatever at the uh, Walmart, but here you can. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Time Chaser, got a roll. See you tonight. Yay! Oh, we're, we're going to look forward to seeing you, Time Chaser. That will be great. Great live stream at Craig Charlton. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, uh, Time Chaser. We're looking forward to it. So come to the meetup tonight. And meet the Time Chaser. <laughs> we're going to have some fun tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. Wow. Well, thank you, Time Chaser. I appreciate it. Yeah. Wow. I just got banned by Eric Brandt. Okay. <laughs> Mima is a Cebuana. What is a Cebuana? <laughs> Craig. Yeah, Craig. They, well, that I, I don't know. It's going to be a long drive from Charlotte. I'd say Charlotte is a bit more than, it's probably more like 10 out, 11 hours. Yeah. Craig's got a new car though. Craig's got a brand new vehicle, so he should drive down. I don't know. Or Craig could get to the airport. Call up uh, Frontier, see if they got any last-minute seats on uh, flights from Charlotte Douglas there to uh, to uh, Orlando MCO. Um, you know, you might be able to get a flight around one or two o'clock, and get that's only probably a two-hour flight, and get down here and and take an Uber over to Des you know, Disney Springs and be there. You could probably make it. <laughs> Now, you know, Noreen, we walked over to the balloon there at Disney Springs. Uh, that That is sketchier than I thought. It really is. It's like a helium balloon. It's, it doesn't have one of those heater things in it. It's not a hot air balloon. And it um, it has like one tether line, one tether line that holds it, connects it to the ground. Okay. And that balloon is like this while you're up in the air. It's swinging around and that tether is pulling and yeah, it, 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 I would not enjoy that. It would freak me out. No! Charlotte is 7.5 hours with no traffic. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. Well, you, you would probably arrive right at the beach. If you could zoom through right now, full speed, you might make it. But there's probably going to hit some traffic, okay? <laughs> Craig the pool boy. Yeah, Craig, come and clean our uh, clean the bugs out of the pool, will you? The state of Florida should hand out Disney mouse ears at the border. That place is such a tourist trap. And the other thing you got to get about Florida, too, especially this part of Florida, I guess from Orlando down to Miami, lots of tolls. Okay, they don't have the toll plazas. It's all those, like, you know, put the little gizmo on your windshield. And then, but you just keep, I mean, getting from the airport to here, I we must have passed four or four little toll things, you know, where they take a buck out of your, uh, you know, out of your bank account. And there must've been, there's a, like a road that goes south of Orlando down to the suburbs down here. And there must've been four places where you could see where there were, you know, toll checks. So they, you know, I don't know what that drive cost, but man, there are a lot of them here. You have to, when you enter the state, you buy this thing called a sunshine pass or something and it costs like, I don't know, whatever, but you get the money refunded when you have the tolls, then you link it to your bank account or your credit card, and then bang, bang, you drive over the state, and bang, bang, they just suck money out off your card all day and night. You know, it's too much. I don't know, Florida, you know, I, I realize they want nice highways here, but man, it is, they're really right and lefting you on the tolls. Ah. Charles Solil, hi from the Philippines. I love your videos. Thank you. Oh, wow. I love watching a lot of those Americans and Brits down there in the Philippines. I think a lot of them have very cool channels. I don't talk about them a lot because my audience wants me to talk about nomads, but uh, but they're very cool. California gumbo. Look at the bottom of the pool before jumping in. Gators! Uh, my lawyer is out of Cookville, Tennessee, Sean Quinn, my favorite lawyer. Cookville, isn't that where Less Junk, More Journey are from? Yeah, good. They have a good channel like them. Dave is my new house boy. <laughs> 
Ron Buckley, buy house in Cebu, Cebu City. Oh, yeah, Ron would probably have a good time down there. I think Ron would like that. Although he has a family up here in he, he, his kids, he has kids in school in Virginia somewhere, doesn't he? I don't know. The Philippines looks like a fascinating place. I don't know if I would like it there. It's a little too crazy for me. It looks kind of sketchy. A lot of dangerous neighborhoods and stuff. Manila is a wild and crazy city. Um, if you're a single guy with a lot of money and you just want to, you like that. It's a very hot, it's like Florida all, all year round. It's very much a very hot, humid, sticky climate 24 seven all year long. Um, they do speak English. Uh, it's very American place. You know, it was owned by the Americans at one time. There's a lot of American culture there. So you don't feel like you're totally alienated. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Oh, good. Brian sub to uh, channel storm. Yes. Yes. Florida has those high fees to, due to no income tax. Right. You will pay for it. No income tax, but then everybody pays for it in tolls and sales tax. Right. I noticed that to some degree in Georgia. Georgia has very low, uh, you know, income taxes and stuff like that. But yeah, you, the, the sales tax in Athens is like seven or eight percent, which is pretty high. <laughs> Do you don't you watch Burger? Burger. Well, I'm you brain sample. Oh, brain sample. Okay, yeah. Burger. Well, there is some talk about maybe Burger coming here to the stream house sometime. I don't know. You know, it, it's not He's out invited. of the question. What? He's burger is technically your invited burger. Now you got to find a way to get down here. <laughs> So is he invited to your birthday? Okay, so uh, Stormy's having a party for her birthday on, on Thursday. What is it, 23rd? But it's only invite. You can't just – we're not telling you where it is. It's, pri it's a private affair, but certain people have been invited, and Berger is on the invite list. So I don't know. It would be kind of interesting to hang out with Berger for a little while. I don't know. One of the things I want to do would be nice to do is – and again, at the meetup today, or maybe just some, you know, lunches or whatever, is hang out with some folks that do YouTube channels that like to hang out with Burger. I would love it if Adam would get in touch with me. Adam the Woo, he's down here. Just did a video here in right, you know, a neighboring town just the other day. It would be really nice to uh, hang out with him, uh, either, either at the, the the meetup tonight, or you know, we can get together for lunch or something. I would love to just, you know chat with him again. I had a wonderful time with him two years, two summers ago there in Rehoboth. Um, right about this time, it was back in May. Yeah. Mur, 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 mur. Mur, 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 Oh, in California, the sales tax is over 9%. Oh my God. That's awful. Then the nice thing about Delaware, there's no sales tax at all. I think Montana doesn't have it either. That's nice. If it says three ninety nine. You pay three ninety nine. You know. Uh, who hasn't been timed out on Burger's channel? He loves it. <laughs> Sad face, Elaine. My invite must have been lost in the mail. Oh yeah, that yeah, Stormy sent a whole lot of invites out, and somehow that whole bag full of invites got lost in the mail. I don't know. That's right. So very tight, close circle of family and friends, and guess what? I'm included. <laughs> I've been adopted. <laughs> don't yeah. Now we're feeding the vlogger puppets. He's gonna. I like, know. I'm like you know. He had me. Uh, she had. He had her with a rope, and then me, I had a thing tied around my neck, and she's leading me around. That was yesterday's video. He gave that one a B minus. Today's video was boring. I'll give it a D plus. It was just kind of boring. He needs to change that puppet. I like the old puppet, the old camo day puppet. Will you meet Carpetbagger? I do well, I don't think Carpetbagger is down here in Florida at the moment. I'm, you know, I'm closer to him when I'm in Athens, but I'd like to meet him again. Sure, I think he's an interesting guy. I think there was he doing. I think he was doing another wrestling match near Athens. There, a place called Cornelia. I think so. Uh, just do your thing, ladies and gents. 
Camo also does sound effects. <laughs> uh, so what else? What else could we do this morning? What? Let me try one more. Let's do one more, one more out by the pool thing. I want to see something here. Let's just try one more out by the pool. I got to hit the button. I know I got to hit the button. Hit the button. Let's see. Okay. Hit the button. Open the door. And close the door. So we'll go take a look one more time out here at the beautiful pool. And watch me fall. Wouldn't that be funny if I fell in the water? That would be so funny. I'm just going to. Uh, there we go. Let's see if we still get the Wi-Fi out here. Yeah, it's working. Anyway, it's just really nice out here today. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? The pool there. I am I am now uh, blacked out. <laughs> Let's see the Wi-Fi. Yeah, we still got a signal out here. The water looks good. The water's been clean. I know they come and clean the pool every now and then. So that's cool. Now we're going to hit the sun here. The problem with the sun now is I'm going to not be able to read the chat. Let me just see how bad it is. See if I can read the chat out here. Oh, yeah. That's hard to read the chat. But there's the, there's the beautiful lake and the pool. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it, the glare out here is really bad. So it, will not be, it would not be easy to do this out here. I can read it here now. Hey, James Smith, cigarettes and menopause, Drea M. <laughs> you could stage a fall. Can you imagine me fall? I, I would you know, go in the water with my laptop here, and then the, the stream would suddenly die off. <laughs> that would not be good. I'm just trying to – yeah, the sun is so bright out here. It's really hard. It's just hard to read the chat out here. It's too bright. Do, do, do. There we go. Do, 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 But we got the table over here. And I could I could do it from here. Yeah, okay, I can read the chat here, but you can't see much of me, but that's okay. Somebody said I look better silhouetted anyway. Ah the carpet bagger is sexy. Well, yes, he is in his own way, okay? Everybody is sexy in their own way. You could stage a fall. Yeah, the views. Oh, yeah. Dave falls into the pool. Views would go up. <laughs> no, I have not found camo speedos. No, they, I don't know. Camo speedos are just, um, I guess you could, or I'm sure you could probably find somewhere you could order them online. But, um, yeah, it's a joke, okay? <laughs> I do not have it at, at my age. I, do, I think I have a pretty good body for a guy who's 60 ish, but I do not have, I'm, I'm not going to be wearing speedos. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see my face at all now. It's because it's so bright behind me. Right. See that the way you can see my face is if I get rid of the brightness behind me, but then you don't get to see the beautiful pool. Let's see if I move it over here. See, now you can see once I get, yeah, see, that's the way it works. So now you can see me a little bit better. I don't know. If I sit over here, then I get more of that. Yeah, I mean, I got to fiddle with the lighting out here. The problem is, yeah, when you're dealing with, like, bright light like that, it just is a pain. But anyway, there, okay, I'm out here now. There we go. Push you in the pool. <laughs> Storm can sneak up behind you and push you in the pool. I, I was thinking about that. Yeah, but then she's got to buy me a new laptop. Meemaw is Jacob. Is Meemaw Jacob the carpet bagger? Are you serious? How do you know that, Craig? <laughs> oh, carpet bagger sexy. Well, if you're hi, car, hi Jacob. How are you doing? I always thought uh, I always thought Meemaw sounded more like um like Stingray, but I don't know. Well, that's nice. Nice to see you watching. Janice Lala just got out of the shower. Camo should wrestle blind views. The winner would be allowed to talk about Caravan Carolyn. Gun, gun, gummo dude. 
<laughs> Maybe Ron and Carpetbagger could wear Speedo and wrestle. <laughs> I did like Carpetbagger wearing that, what's that wrestling singlet, 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 whatever they call it, what wrestlers wear. Oh my goodness. He looked kind of funky in that. Crotchy is behind me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, Scratchy. Hi, Crappy. <laughs> oh, my. That was shocking. There he is. Hi. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's, that kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Make my day. I don't know, man. I don't know. And it's I don't know day at Disney Springs. It did. It freaked me out. I'm like, oh my god! It's like, yeah, he came alive. Crotchy the creeper. <laughs> yeah, he was, wasn't he, Brian? <laughs> well, you know, I don't know. Crotchy will be found face down, floating in the pool before this trip is over. Well, you know, that's a very real possibility, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, this is what? I got down here to Orlando on Wednesday, and then yesterday, and then it was uh, Thursday, we went around Disney Springs and did some cool stuff. We took the boat ride over to uh, to um, Old Key West, which was really nice. That was a beautiful boat ride. I had a good time. Uh, and we hung out. Uh, they came back here. And then yesterday was just kind of a hang around the house day. Did some shopping, stuff like that. And today we're, uh, she's, um, um, uh, Stormy's cooking breakfast, which I'm going to end the stream very soon because I want to eat. And then we're going to uh, hang out and get ready for the big uh, meetup tonight at 6 p.m. over at uh, at the Doxa Margaritas at Disney Springs. So we will have a good time doing that. And we hope I hope Time Chaser shows up. I would love to meet him or her or them or whatever. And uh, oh my goodness, now I got to clean my glasses because they got the bacon, the bacon grease. I was eating bacon earlier and then my hands had bacon grease on them. And then I rubbed the glasses and now the glasses are all smeary. Oh my God. Let's try them again. That's better. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, and then uh, we've got uh, Destination Storm's birthday, Stormy's birthday coming up on Thursday. So we got a lot of fun stuff coming up. What's on the menu? I think it's eggs, some sort of an omelet, isn't it, or something, or a, a kind of a burrito egg omelet. I don't know. I'll make a video of my singing for you, Dave. Okay, RV American Traveler, you do that. <laughs> What's the East Coast time? 9 p.m. for what? East Coast time for what? It's 6 p.m. East Coast time for the meetup, okay? If the West Coast time, if you want to watch the meetup on your stream, it would be about 3 p.m. Hawaii would be, what, about 1 p.m. or noon, something like that? Wow. And if you're in England, the meetup will be tonight at about 11 p.m., or as they say, 2,300 hours. And uh, in continental Europe, it'll be midnight. If you're in continental Europe, our meetup is at midnight tonight. So, But check it out on Destination Storm stream. That's right. Craig is jelly, right? Nobody there to cook him breakfast this morning. He's all alone. His wife has flown the coop. That's right. His wife left. He, his wife left him. Just she went on a trip to take care of uh, to visit a relative. But you know, we're saying that you know his wife left him all alone. He's there with his two little doggies and nobody to. Uh, he just sits there and watches YouTube videos all day long. Oh, his neighbor. I think his neighbor invited him over for dinner the other night. Right. So. Beat up your stormy time. Yeah, kind of whenever we feel like it tonight. We're not sure. Six, nine, what? A, yeah, the meetup will be, maybe it is. The meetup will be nine o'clock tonight. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Storm, give Dave poached eggs because he's a poacher. What am I a poacher? Jeez. Eggs, Danny Thomas style. Google it. Danny Thomas style. Are you going to meet Tim Tracker? I think it would be the amount of time 
uh, you push this channel. Um, I would love to meet Tim Tracker. Um, you know, again, we're, we were trying to talk about who's really the bottom of YouTube and who isn't. You know, and a lot of people say, you know, Adam's not really the bottom of YouTube anymore because he's got 280,000 subs. Tim Tracker's got way more than that. Tim Tracker's got 800, pushing 1,000 subs. I mean, a million subs, 800,000. Uh, it's, to, you know, how do you classify Tim Tracker in any way as being bottom of YouTube? And he really isn't. Um, Adam, I would classify as that because of his past. You know, he's he was kind of started out that way. And he's gone, obviously, into other things. And, you know, he's, you know, but yeah. You know, he, that little group, it's very, I don't know, that we maybe we just have to get rid of the term bottom of YouTube and just, you know, it's, it's stuff Dave likes to watch. My channel has always been stuff I like to watch, and it does happen to be a lot of weirdos that would call themselves the bottom of YouTube. But, um, oh, look, those guys are playing the pool noodles over in the pool over there. <laughs> that looks like fun. Maybe I should go over and join them. They're really whapping themselves with pool, little kids wrapping themselves with pool noodles. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's very interesting here. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So I don't know. I'd love to meet Tim Tracker. He is not the bottom of YouTube. He does fascinating videos. And the more I visit Disney, the more I really enjoy his stuff because he, uh, he'll he do stuff and going, you know, it was just the other day he was at the bus stop there at the Disney Springs. And I was like right on that same exact spot like two days earlier. So, um, you know, I'm going, I'd love to run into him. I would love to, you know, just hang around at Disney Springs and run into somebody. Hey, there's Tim Tracker. I would love to just walk up to him and go, hey, Tim, Camo Dave. And he'd look at me like, who the hell are you? <laughs> Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> I don't know. Look at these. I love these old camo pants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what is it? The germ said he thought I looked like I was pregnant. I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, I know I have a little bit of a punch there. I'm an old guy. You know, maybe I have one too many beers. But I think for a 60-some-year-old guy, I look pretty good. I really do. You know? I mean, look at these muscles. Look at those arms. I mean, I don't even bench press, you know? I don't know. I think I'm a pretty good male specimen. What do you think? For an old guy, you know? I don't know. I look at myself in the mirror. I go, Dave, for an older dude, you look pretty good. Don't I get a consensus on, on that? Come on. I you know, I watched my video last night. I watched uh, Stormy's uh, stream last night, and I'm sitting there, you know, playing you know, air hockey and stuff, and I thought, hey, Dave's not – no, he's, he's in pretty good shape, right? Camo baby. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Rod, Ronnie. I just realized you can pause a live video and continue. Yes, yes, you can do that. You won't be watching it totally live, but you can you can do that. Yes, and then you hit the live button again, and it will take you right back to live. Oh, yeah, that's right. Time for your omelet, Dave. Yeah, I, I really am. What do we got here? 117. Let's pay wet pole noodle contest. We could do that. Belly time. <laughs> Go to the Philippines and get himself a wife. Hey, if I can do it, anybody can. Yes, Ziggy, but I don't have the money. Those those Philippine ladies are beautiful, but you know they they want the cash. You know, and then you got to pay for their entire family, right? It's not just the one lady; it's her whole family. So, and that's what a number of those people. You know, you you, you make. You marry some young, beautiful Filipina woman, but then you have the entire family to support. The family comes with her. <laughs> so, yeah, if, and they always say that if you are going to the Philippines, make sure you do have a good amount of money because, you know, it's very hard for poor people. If you're just living hand to mouth, forget it. You know, the, the ladies want the men with America. They want their American men sugar daddies. They really do. In Seoul. Who's in Seoul? <laughs> So, oh, Korea, nice to see you, Korea. Nice to see you very much. Uh, you don't need money, you have clout. <laughs> Making cheese omelets, okay, I gotta go get my cheese omelets. How old's Dave? 34, thank you, Trey. Yeah, I'm 30, I'm not a, I'm 39, okay. <laughs> uh, 
All right, folks, I'm going to have to pull the plug on this. Uh, we got stuff to do today. I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much. Got to get some omelets. It's already uh, almost 11 o'clock here on the East Coast. Uh, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. If you would like, if you're in the Orlando area, one more mention, uh, 6 o'clock tonight, Disney uh, Springs, which is in, it's a, it's not part of the park. Oh, uh, thank you, Maximalist Minibus. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if you could buy a cocktail at Disney Springs for $2? <laughs> oh my. That'll just that'll just pay the sales tax. <laughs> but anyway, thank you Frank. I uh, wish you were down here. You could soak up some warm di uh, Florida sun. Maybe that make your back feel better. You'd probably uh, just relax. It'd be nice if you could come down here and just kind of lay out by the pool and just relax. I think that would do you a world of good. Happy, happy Saturday. Thank you, Eileen. Uh, Frederick, make today count. That's right. And we are going to make today count for sure. So, uh, yeah. Hey, a fourth of a cocktail is better than nothing. Well, I think Destination Storm got that the other day when she was at the Planet Hollywood. <laughs> she ordered a cocktail. They brought her out something with like an inch of <laughs> stuff in it. It was like, what the F? <laughs> Well, thank you, RV Davey, a.k.a. RV American Traveler. Just, you know, keep it chill. I'm I'm a nice guy. I love everybody. You know, people get mad at me. And, hey, you know, my channel is going to change as I'm changing, as everybody's changing. And, you know, I still talk about a lot of the old people and a lot of the, the cool stuff. So, and that's always been what I've said about my channel. It's what I like to talk about, you know. I, I, I talk about nomads and YouTubers that I like to talk about. I like to watch. So, you know, and in that respect, it's pretty much stayed the same. I get, I'm getting new relationships in my life with Barb, with Vanessa. They're lovely, wonderful people. Uh, Susan and Sandy up there in in Virginia. My other friend Sandy in Delaware. I've just had the Craig. I've met so many wonderful people in the last couple of years, and I'm you know just kind of uh, enjoying life. And I have to say, the last three years have been a wonderful advancement for me. I've gotten. As I said, I got rid of that condo that was just kind of soul crushing experience and I'm enjoying it now. I'm really a much happier dude. Um, I hope I look a little more relaxed. I'm a little more laid back and uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just having a good time. So, you know, and I hope, you know, it's a two way street with, you know, people I come to stay with that, you know, I can learn stuff from them. And they're providing nice things to me and, and I'm helping them out with certain things. And me and Stormy are talking a lot about YouTube and helping her build her channel. And I'm giving her my advice and she's giving me advice on editing and stuff. Not that I'm going to actually start doing edited videos because I think you like my Zep production. It's kind of my style. But, you know, we're just kind of having a lot of fun today and, and for the next couple of days, maybe the next couple of weeks. All right, everybody. All right. So Crotchy will be there at the meetup tonight. So that'll be cool. Yeah, I'd love to go out to Phoenix one of these days. You know, there's some so many interesting people in Phoenix. There, there are <laughs> roasting away in their little little hot hot boxes. <laughs> go eat, shall you? <laughs> Okay, Maximus Minibus, maybe I will. I have never been to Massachusetts. That's one state I've never been to. I would love to go up there. All right, folks. Oh, I want to do a shout out to the Illuminator JJ. He sent me a very nice email the other day. Uh, really, not, I'm, I'm, you know, we've had a kind of a up and down relationship. And uh, he'd be a fun person to hang out with too. What he, Rhode Island, never been to Rhode Island either. So he's, I haven't seen him here, but it'd be nice. Hey, Ox, Ox is awake. <laughs> Mikasa is Sukasa. Really, Diane? I would love to go to Oregon. Oh, I, that's one state I would just love to see. Yeah. Are you near Portland or where specifically in Oregon are you? Good day, Davo. <laughs> I'm already on the East Coast. Yeah. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I don't know. I do you know I, I do have my plans penciled in for the summer. OK, I'm pretty much penciled in for uh, June and into July and August and then up through Labor Day. I'm not sure where I'm do going after Labor Day. So I still September, October, November, December are still kind of up in the air. So, uh, you know, if you've got something this fall that I can, you know, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. 
the next two or three months are kind of pretty much generally planned out. And then beyond that, I really have no idea where I'll be going. So I don't know. But I do definitely do not want to spend uh, the winter in a cold climate, okay? I don't want to do that. So Arizona looks like a very – I would love to go to Arizona for the – you know, and I would – you know what I would really like to do this year is do RTR or in 2020. I think that would be a lot of fun. So many cool people there. I want to do – we want to do – um, want to do the – um. Dragon Con in in Labor Day weekend, which I meet a lot of cool people, and it'd be a lot of fun to do the RTR. Those two events, I think, would be maximizing my meetability <laughs> quotient. <laughs> all right, folks. Listen, you all have a wonderful Saturday. If you're not in the Orlando area, tune into Destination Storms uh, stream tonight at six o'clock Eastern. Or if you're here in the Orlando area, please get over to the meetup at six o'clock at. Uh, at uh, Dockside Margaritas, Doxinator Margaritas at Disney Springs, 6 p.m., just southwest of the beautiful city of Orlando. Okay, looks like we're going to have good weather today, so rain out, minimal. So, yeah, we could, but a uh, beautiful day, nice and sunny, and there isn't a cloud in the sky. So, uh, smooth sailing. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. You all have a wonderful Saturday. Talk to you soon. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>